In this video, we will become familiar with the user interface and control of RFEM6. To illustrate the whole thing, we will use the steel hall that we will model together during this tutorial. If you do not have the finished model at hand, you can alternatively download one of the many available RFEM models from our new Delubal Center and use it to explore the user interface. Now, let's load the desired structural model into the software so we can start. The RFEM user interface is divided into several smaller areas. Each area of the interface fulfills specific functions that are automatically linked to each other to ensure an effective workflow. For example, modeling can be performed using the menu bar, the navigator, or the tables. At the top you see the menu bar. Use the menu bar to access all RFEM functions. It is structured in logical blocks that you can easily access by clicking. The menu opens and you can access the menu items. You can find here model-specific and software-specific settings, commands, and functions. You see the toolbar just below the menu bar. The toolbar provides a selection of buttons and lists for direct access to the most important functions in RFEM. When you move the mouse pointer over a button, brief information about the function of this button appears. Some buttons include subcategories in lists with topic-related functions. To access these functions, we click the small arrow next to the button. The last selected command is placed at the top of the list. Of course, you also have the option to customize the toolbar, or even to create and save your own toolbar. To do this, we right-click anywhere on the toolbar and then click, Customize Menus and Toolbars. In the new window, we can move the desired command into the desired position using drag and drop. In our tutorial series, we use the RFEM default setting. Another important part of the RFEM interface is the navigator on the left. The navigator manages the file data in a tree structure. At the bottom edge of the navigator, you will find three tabs, four after calculation. Use the tabs to switch between the data, display, views, and results navigators. The data navigator, the first tab, manages the model and design data as well as the load cases and design situations. For RFEM6, the data navigator has been redesigned with more data and functions. This ensures that you have a structured overview of the model. For example, you can now find surface thicknesses, sets of members, sets of surfaces, and much more. The subcategories of the model data are also new. The main categories represent the basic objects, such as materials, nodes, lines, and surfaces. The subcategories manage specific properties of an object, such as the types of hinges that can be assigned to a line or a member. Quick tip. If you select an element in the navigator, it will also be selected in the model. If your model is very large, you can find the element by right-clicking in the navigator, for example. A red arrow shows where it is located in the model. The display navigator controls the graphical display in the workspace. Use the checkboxes to switch objects and attributes in the graphic on or off. The views navigator manages both user-defined views and various visibility settings. In the upper part of the Views Navigator, you can create, edit or delete user-defined views.
In the lower part of the Views Navigator, you can activate certain visibilities or create user-defined visibilities. All these functions allow for an efficient and convenient workflow. We will learn more about working with views and visibilities in later videos. After calculation in RFEM 6, a fourth tab appears in the Navigator, the Results Navigator. In the upper part you can display the desired results and in the lower part you can define their display type. We will look at more functions as well as tips and tricks of the Navigator during this tutorial series. In the lower part of the RFEM interface, you will find the tables. The tables manage all model and load data numerically. The tables represent the internal data structure of RFEM. By working through the tables successively, RFEM ensures that all data is recorded. Use the lists of the main categories with the corresponding subcategories to select a specific table. Users can enter their data in tables without having to work graphically. You can easily create and edit model data, load cases, results, and much more in tables. The menu bar in the tables is new in RFEM 6. It provides a better table structure and allows for better functionality compared to previous RFEM versions. Now we have a look at the control in RFEM 6. The view cube is also new in RFEM 6. Click or rotate the cube to control the view. Alternatively, you can control it using the mouse and keyboard as follows. To select an object, we click it or draw a window over the object. Afterwards, we can drag or copy the selected object anywhere. By holding down the control key on the keyboard while moving the cursor. If the window is drawn from left to right, only the objects that are completely within the window will be selected. However, if you draw the window from right to left, the selection also includes objects that intersect the window, for example beams and surfaces. To modify an object, we double-click the object to select it. The Edit Model dialog box opens where we can adjust the object parameters. By pressing on the scroll wheel, we can move the model back and forth. By holding down the control key and pressing on the scroll wheel at the same time, we can rotate the model, similar to the view cube. Rotating is also possible by moving the cursor while pressing the wheel and right mouse button at the same time. With the shift key pressed and the scroll wheel pressed at the same time, we can zoom in and out. We can also zoom intuitively with the scroll wheel or by drawing a window over the desired area using the right mouse button. To display the entire model, we double click on the scroll wheel. The command bar is located in the bottom part of the RFEM user interface. When executing a command in RFEM, a window will open on the left side of the screen asking you to perform the next step of the command. In the middle of the command bar, you will find a few shortcuts that help us when working graphically. After this extensive overview of the RFEM user interface, we will start modeling the steel hall in the next chapter and discover more new features. Till next time.